consider four bar mechanism as shown on the screen link ad is fixed link link ab is the input link link bc is a coupler and link cd is the output link angle made by input link ab with horizontal is theta and angle made by output link cd with horizontal is phi angle made by coupler link bc with horizontal is beta now position vectors are drawn along links so we can write loop closure equation as ab bar plus bc bar plus cd bar plus da bar is equal to 0 here the loop is taken in a clockwise sense alphabet small a is representing length of input link b is representing length of coupler c is representing length of output link and d is the notation for length of fixed link vector a b bar can be resolved into two components one horizontal component and another one will be vertical component by observation we will come to know that horizontal component will be directed towards right hand side and vertical component will be in upward direction horizontal component of a b bar will be a cos theta and vertical component will be a sin theta similarly vector bc bar can be resolved into two components one horizontal component and another one will be vertical component by observation we will come to know that horizontal component will be directed towards right hand side and vertical component will be in upward direction horizontal component of bc bar will be b cos beta and vertical component will be b sin beta similarly vector cd bar can be resolved into two components one horizontal component and another one will be vertical component by observation we will come to know that horizontal component will be directed towards left hand side and vertical component will be in downward direction horizontal component of c d bar will be c cos phi and vertical component will be c sin phi vector d a bar is along horizontal direction directed towards left hand side now sum of position vectors along horizontal direction will be zero horizontal component of a b bar is a cos theta and it is directed towards right hence we will take it as positive therefore our first term will be a cos theta horizontal component of b c bar is b cos beta and it is directed towards right hence we will take it as positive therefore our next term will be b cos beta horizontal component of cd bar is c cos phi and it is directed towards left hence we will take it as negative therefore our next term will be minus c cos phi vector d a bar is along horizontal direction directed towards left hence we will take it as negative therefore our next term will be minus d hence we will have relation a cos theta plus b cos beta minus c cos phi minus d is equal to 0 we can write relation for b cos beta as b cos beta is equal to d plus c cos phi minus a cos theta let us say this is equation number 1 similarly sum of position vectors along vertical direction will be 0 
वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ ए बी बार इज ए साइन थीटा एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड अपवर्ड हेंस वी विल टेक इट एज पॉजिटिव देर फोर अवर फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी ए साइन थीटा वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ बी सी बार इज बी साइन बीटा एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड अपवर्ड हेंस वी विल टेक इट एज पॉजिटिव देर फोर अवर नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बी बी साइन बीटा वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ सी डी बार इज सी साइन फाइव एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड डाउनवर्ड हेंस वी विल टेक इट एज निगेटिव देर फोर अवर नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बी माइनस सी साइन फाइव वैक्टर डी ए बार इज अलॉन्ग ओरिजोनटल डायरेक्शन हेंस इट विल नॉट हैव एनी कंपोनेंट इन वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन हेंस वी विल हैव रिलेशन ए साइन थीटा प्लस बी साइन बीटा माइनस सी साइन फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन राइट रिलेशन फॉर बी साइन बीटा एज बी साइन बीटा इज इक्वल टू सी साइन फाइव माइनस ए साइन थीटा लेट एस से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ वी विल स्क्वेर एंड एड इक्वेशन वन एंड टू वी आर गोइंग फॉर दिस स्टेप टू एलिमिनेट एंगल बीटा and we are interested in relation between angle turn by input link that is theta and angle turn by output link that is phi by squaring and adding equation 1 and 2 on left hand side we will have relation b square cos square beta plus b square sin square beta we can take b square common and its multiplier will be cos square beta plus sin square beta but cos square beta plus sin square beta will be equal to 1 this is how beta is eliminated from the relation now right hand side of equation 1 is having three terms and we have to square it so we can use basic relation a plus b plus c bracket square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus twice of ab plus twice of bc plus twice of ac here whatever a b and c we are having these are different than a b and c which are used in four bar mechanism this is just basic relation a plus b plus c bracket square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square Plus two AB plus two BC plus two AC. Now we will go for square of right hand side, that is RHS of equation one. Hence we will have relation d square plus c square cos square phi plus a square cos square theta plus two CD cos phi minus two AC cos theta cos phi minus two AD cos theta. Now we will square and add right hand side of equation two by using basic relation a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of ab. Hence, next term will be c square sine square phi plus a square sine square theta minus two ac sine theta sine phi. Now on LHS that is on left hand side. we can take b square common and in bracket we will have cos square beta plus sin square beta similarly on rhs we can take common from few terms which are highlighted by same color and other terms are written as it is cos square beta plus sin square beta will be equal to 1 cos square phi plus sin square phi will be equal to 1 and cos square theta plus sin square theta will be equal to 1 and instead of cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi we can write cos of theta minus phi hence we will have relation b square is equal to d square plus c square plus a square plus 2 cd cos phi Minus two AC cos of theta minus phi minus two AD cos of theta. 
we can rearrange terms and we can write relation as 2cd cos phi minus 2ad cos theta plus a square minus b square plus c square plus d square is equal to 2ac cos of theta minus phi now we will divide by 2ac on both sides so we will have relation d divided by a cos of phi minus d divided by c cos of theta plus a square minus b square plus c square plus d square and it is divided by twice of ac and it will be equal to cos of theta minus phi for d divided by a we can put constant as k1 for d divided by c we can put constant as k2 and instead of a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by twice of ac we can put constant as k3 why we are putting constants k1 k2 and k3 it will look simple this is the one reason and another more important reason is k1 k2 and k3 are having terms which are length of links and length of links are not going to change when mechanism will operate so whatever may be the value of theta and phi k1 k2 and k3 will be always same or we can say k1 k2 and k3 will be always constant hence we will have relation k1 cos of phi minus k2 cos of theta plus k3 is equal to cos of theta minus phi and it is known as friedstein's equation where k1 is equal to d divided by a k2 is equal to d divided by c and k3 is equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by twice of ac hence we are having relation k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 is equal to cos of theta minus phi and it is known as friedstein's equation where k1 is equal to d divided by a and k2 is equal to d divided by c and k3 is equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by twice of ac theta is the angle turned by input link phi is the angle turned by output link a is the length of input link b is the length of coupler c is the length of output link and d is the length of fixed link